What's good, Duffy Gang? It's your boy Tyler Duff, and I'm back with another video. Um, thanks, boo. This video is going to serve as a little bit of a life update, kind of on my health, physical, mental, and emotional health. Um, you know, sometimes it is actually, I believe all the time, it's okay to admit that you're not okay. And I haven't been okay for quite some time. You know, I haven't been okay since like years, like before I even started YouTube, like, I mean, are we all 100% okay? You know what I mean? Um, I feel like in society we are prone to always have this uh, persona that everything's okay all the time and blase, 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 but I'm, admitting that I'm not okay. I know that I've said this before, but uh, life is just constantly smacking me in the face. And you know, as a influencer or being on social media, um, you always gotta have like this smile on your face. You always gotta like show like, oh my God, I like the happy side of you. And I believe that can get like very, 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 very toxic. Like even being like an actor, like, I'm not an actor, but like actors, like musicians, they even, you know, if you're having a bad day, when you get on that stage or whenever you get on that camera, you gotta act like, <laughs> like ain't nothing's wrong. And I feel like that can be a very, that's very detrimental to the human brain. Like, just like in my life right now, it's just annoying, <laughs> like, for instance, I caught COVID. <laughs> how did I catch COVID? I still to this day have no clue how I caught COVID, especially having all the, you know, taking all the safety precautions and at least trying to take majority of the safety precautions. But even if you slip up like for a second, you just never know like how you can get it. But that was very detrimental on my mental health. That was like a lot of anxiety. Like I know that they say like, oh, young people, like they survive through it, but Whenever something is, like, brand new, you never really know, like, oh, my God, what's going to happen? <laughs> like, can, can this kill you? Can this, like, do whatever? Like, this, it, it just sucked. Like, I'm constantly having anxiety. I'm waking up out of my sleep and having panic attacks, even though I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm so, like, I'm really, really good right now. I'm not having, like, symptoms. My anxiety just flares up, so it makes, I have, like, panic attacks or feeling like I can't breathe while having these anxiety episodes and it put a lot of stress on me, especially with the world and how everything is going on right now. Can you imagine your mom calling you crying, just wishing that you are doing okay and that she wants the best for you? That already right there, like hearing your mom cry is like, It sucks like it's just like I never want to see my mom cry and I always want the best for my mom no matter what so seeing her go through this with me and also my breakup <laughs> my breakup was so hard on my mental as well and you know she was there with me too and she cried about that as well like it was like it was literally back to back like how do I get out of an engagement catch corona on top of everything else that's going on in life right now now i'm just lonely as fuck i'm still glad that i have my babies here with me but it, it's definitely like there's just been there's just been so much on my mind and like i feel like i can't escape it and it makes me want to like go to like mars or something and one of the things the reason why i can't escape it is because like you know i just share i share enough on my life I, like I try to share enough of my life as it is, but not everything needs to be said. But I know like, I don't like putting Anthony's business out there, but like he, he's staying with me. He has to stay with me. Like his grandma won't let him go stay with her because I caught COVID. So, you know, like, and it's understandable because she is an older woman and she's caring about her health and she doesn't want to run the risk of her catching it, which is completely fine. I understand that. But like in a relationship, like, especially during this time, like I even said, like, space like lots of space loads of space i'm not getting space like <laughs> i'm supposed to be evaluating myself he's supposed to be evaluating himself and so that we could possibly 
reconcile in the future and like fix things and see how things go but it's like how do you give each other space when there is no space anthony can't go get an apartment by himself in this current moment in life due to life decisions that he's made so it's like well do i let my ex-fiance sleep in the fucking car that i helped get him like for god knows how long so he's been quarantining with me already until he came back and tested negative. Now, it is above me on how he tested negative. All my friends te tested negative as well. It's beyond me. It's beyond me how I got it. And my friends are more reckless than I am. So not having that space, always seeing and being reminded of the reason why we split in the first place is just so annoying. And then on top of dealing with that, I had to deal with that ignorance and his arrogance on top of having COVID in my own house. And I'm like, I already feel so lonely. So now nobody wants to hang out with me because I had COVID. And it's just, I'm tired. And it's like, how much of the tiredness, <laughs> like how tired can I get? How, I like how continuously tired can I physically, emotionally, and mentally get? And a lot of y'all come to me and y'all ask, you know, for life advice questions. And I try with the best of my ability, with the years and experience that I've had on this earth, to give you guys as much positive reinforcement as much as I can and support you guys because that, that's what I'm here for, ultimately. And, you know, I've always struggled growing up with being the person that people can, like being the shoulder that people can cry on, but never let my guard down enough to cry on somebody else's shoulder. So all those things build up and it's not good. So if you are a type of person out there who has struggles expressing feelings and bottles it all up, it's not healthy. Trust me, it's not healthy. It doesn't matter the amount of working out that you do, it doesn't matter, the amount of eating healthy you do. If you bottle up your feelings and you never address those things and you constantly keep running from them, they will follow up and deteriorate your mental health. And it's just, and it's not good because right now I'm just like, who do I have to turn to? Who do I have that will understand what I'm going through? Because so many people have turned their backs on me so many people have shown their true colors so many people have used me and it's just like what do i do do i seek therapy tried pills stopped taking pills because of my most recent breakup and how those things how the things that i was gonna do but it's scary it's almost like having a mental warfare in your brain and you not knowing what's gonna happen next uh it's hard but i know i'm gonna get through it and i know that i am a fighter and i've always have been my whole life it's just it gets really 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 tiring and it sucks being alone just whatever and it's like crying so much what does that do like i'm not even a crier so whenever i do cry i let all the cries out like all I let all the tears out right then and there so it's like well what do you do next like <laughs> it's so whenever you guys message me and you ask me do i feel where you're coming from oh yeah i do and i don't think that anybody will understand what you're going through unless that same person has been through it you asking somebody, oh, like, how do you do this and how you do that? And they haven't been through it. They don't really know. Like, they haven't been through it. So whenever you guys come to me and ask for advice, I more than likely have been through it. I'm just like, <laughs> I give examples. I type long ass paragraphs. You guys know if you have messaged me on, on especially Instagram. I'm more so active on Instagram, my responses. But it's just, it's just, it's just annoying. And I don't know how to cope with it and it's and it sucks and it's beginning to suck even more like 2020 has been an awakening year if you guys are into like spirituality or whatever like i believe that we have went through a quantum jump we have been through an astrological shift of everything like 
everything is making people become more aware, making people see what is actually going on. And now it's time to fix things. And it's just like in this time period and this time era, it's just like, whew, everything is exhausting. And I'm gonna be good, just letting y'all know I'm gonna be good. I just, I know many of y'all have been asking me over and over, like, are you good? Are you good? And I'm like, yeah. But deep down inside, I'm not, but I'm going to be working on it. And I'm super excited to continue filming videos, but it's just that my past, you know, this past relationship has definitely weighed on my mental health. Like, just looking back on just like a year ago to date, I thought I was in a bad spot. But right now, I feel like I'm in, I'm in an even worse spot. Sitting in this apartment by myself is like, what the fuck? Like, what have you done? Like, <laughs> Are you going to take this and learn from it? Are you going to take it and run from it? A lot of people don't know how to own up to their own mistakes and keep on running away. And I'm just like, I'm tired of running and I'm tired of just feeling exhausted. So, i gonna be good. I just wanted to give you guys a quick life update video. I'm going to be moving soon. I'm getting a roommate. Um, I'm going to be making a vlog about that. I'm going to be making vlogs about my life. And just continue to push forward and again thank you guys so much for supporting me i don't think you guys understand how much you guys support helps me get up every day <laughs> i don't know what i would do without y'all like youtube is very therapeutic to me if you've been watching me for a long time you would know youtube is very 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 therapeutic to me and just having you guys there is just so therapeutic as well so i appreciate you guys um lots of prayers prayers for me prayers for y'all as well support each other all the time um like this video comment and subscribe if you're new and i'll be back to thailand again soon um i love you guys i'll see y'all in the next video deuces